Good morning, people. Watch him at 65. Lisa Boyce here. I'm going to give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, that Christ spilled his blood for our past, present, and future sins, was buried, and rose again on the third day, according to Scripture. That's how we're saved. That's how we're kept saved. And that's why we're saved. We're saved by the blood. Nothing else. Uh, my job is to come here and let you know that salvation is simple. Salvation is through the blood of Jesus. He shed his blood for our past, present, and future sins so that we can live. It is grace through faith in Christ alone. No other way. It is grace that God gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. That's the simple gospel. Anybody who comes to you and gives you another gospel, they are false. Because the gospel is very simple. It is belief in what Christ did at the cross of Calvary. It is belief in the blood. It is the blood of Jesus. 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ shed his blood, was buried, and rose again on the third day. That's it, right there. Um, once we accept Christ as Savior, once we come to a knowledge of believing and accepting Christ as Savior, the Holy Spirit indwells in you. There is not a baptism of the Holy Spirit. You're automatically baptized the moment you accept Christ as Savior. The Holy Spirit indwells in you. Um, that's it. It, yeah, it can't get no simpler than that. That's what I do. I come on here every day and give you the simple gospel and how to be saved. Not only be saved, but sealed until the day of redemption. Because Ephesians 4.30 says you are sealed with the Holy Spirit until the day of redemption, which means you will never lose your salvation. You are sealed. Like I said yesterday, what part of sealed don't people understand? It's simple. It's sealed. So, that's it. And I come on here and give you the gospel and tell you how simple it is because the church is about to take off. We're about to get raptured. We're on the cusp of the rapture. I got to give you this article real quick here. Um, U.S. military raises Europe threat level to potential imminent crisis. And this is a report. And this came out yesterday. Came out, um, I think one of my subscribers sent it to me. And I had to raise my eyebrows. I'm like, uh-oh. The U.S. And there's some more. War is on the horizon. And thanks to Sleepy Joe, it's going to happen. The, U, the U.S. European Command raised its threat levels in Europe to potential imminent crisis this week as fighting between Russia and Ukrainian forces has escalated in recent days and additional Russian troops are deploying to the region. The Russian troop movement could serve as an early test of uh, Joe Biden's commitment to Ukraine. According to the U uh, New York Times, General Todd D. Walters the head of the U.S. European Command declared a potential imminent crisis, which is the highest potential watch level. Folks, things are getting real now. The command raised the watch level after four Ukrainian troops were killed in recent fighting in Denmark region. Um, the UCOM also raised a warning after Russian troops deployed to the border a region between Russia and Ukraine for an apparent set of military drills but failed to leave after the drills concluded on March 23rd. One official who spoke with the New York Times estimated around 4,000 additional Russian troops remained in the Ukraine border region after the most recent military drills ended. U.S. officials told the New York Times that it has been a favorite Russian tactic to use military drills near Ukraine's border to send a message to both the Ukrainian government and other 
Western nations. Current and former U.S. military officials said the latest Russian troop deployment could also be a way for Russian President Vladimir Putin to gauge the Sleepy Joe administration's commitment to Ukraine. This could be posturing by the Kremlin is testing the new administration. Said retired U.S. Army Lieutenant General Frederick uh, B. Hodges, the former commanding general of U.S. Army Europe. It says Democratic lawmakers voted to impeach Trump in the House of Representatives, alleging he pressured um, Zelensky. Yeah, saying that he pressured uh, Zelensky to investigate uh, Biden. Trump was acquitted by the Republican-controlled Senate in February of two, uh, 2020. But Zelensky became a central figure in a 2019 effort to impeach uh, Donald Trump. That's where all this came from. But this, this is escalating. And it's not being reported on main, my bad, lame stream media. I got this off of American military news. The Biden administration has seen some other tense exchanges with Putin and Russia in recent weeks. Two weeks ago, Russia recalled his ambassador to the U.S. after Biden referred to Putin as a killer. Reacting to further to uh, Biden's comments, Putin challenged by, uh, Biden, Sleepy Joe, in a live debate. And of course, they won't let him do that. Folks, things are moving very quickly in the spiritual realm. That means we're on the cusp of the rapture. We're right here, and the rapture's right here. It's like we're right here, and the rapture's right there. So the rapture is going to happen very soon. That's why I come on here and give the gospel. It's a simple gospel. We're in the dispensation of grace. And yes, I am a dispensationalist. And I'm a King James only person. We're in the dispensation of grace. Which means the only requirement in this dispensation is to believe. Um, I got questioned yesterday. Why do I say be prayed up? Why not? What's wrong with talking to the Lord? I mean, we talk to the Lord. We're supposed to talk to the Lord. We have access to the Most High because we're his children. I will be back later if anything else comes up, which I'm sure it will. I have other uh, military articles to give too, but I will po post this in the um, description box. Thank you.